Hey everyone, it's Coach D. I had a great conversation with a client this morning about how sometimes our brain and our body are not on the same page. Sometimes too, it can be our ego getting in the way. Now I use that term loosely because this client is the furthest person from having an ego that I possibly know. Um, but uh, currently though, she's not quite listening to her body as we discussed. And the reason I say that is because first of all, we have to remember that uh, we are our own uh, science lab. We are our own experiments. We need to experiment with things, but at the same time, we need to do it in a non-judgmental way to figure out what works best for us. In this situation, this client has increased her walking a lot. She's going for a particular target and she's going to hit it no matter what. She's doing amazing. Um, but there was uh, a, a period of time this year where she couldn't, she, she wasn't as consistent with her walks or her exercise. And uh, she also had had a surgery in there. There's all kinds of things uh, that that were in the way uh, that were not allowing the consistency and the, and the volume of walking before. Now that it's there, when she does these long walks, uh, she's getting a lot of foot pain, lower leg pain. So we've been dealing with that as well. And it does provide some temporary relief when she does these exercises that that we uh, are focusing on, but it then it comes back. But what she noticed was, and through conversation, we realized that her long walks um, are causing her that discomfort in her feet, whereas uh, a couple kilometers less, she's not getting that. So that to me says, hey, the body is trying to tell her something. The body is not quite ready, even though in her head, even those long walks aren't really that long. And I totally get where she's coming from. But at the same time, we can't ignore what the body is telling us. Our reality is as human beings is our physiology will change and adapt at its own pace. We do not have control of that. The only thing we have control of is where we're at right now and are we providing the stimulus for the body to change. Uh, and she is doing that. But it's it's a matter of setting our ego aside and not focusing so much on the outcome, but focusing on where are we at right now and working with the body rather than against it.